All right, we're talking time. And the biggest barrier of entry that I hear and see coaching over the last 10 years is I don't have time to be fit. I don't have time to work out. And uh, I'm a huge numbers guy. Uh, 86,400 seconds in the day is what we're all given, 24 hours. So I wanna do the math and break it down for you guys and see if I can't kind of flip the script and change your perspective on if you do or don't have time to be healthy every single day. 24 hours in a day, seven days a week, that's 168 hours is what we're given. You guys have jobs, I get it. Let's say you work 11 hours a day, that's 55 hours a week. So I mean, you're clocking in at 6 a.m., you're clocking out at 5 p.m., you have no time for anything in between, you're hustling, you're grinding, you're all in it, 11 hours a day, Monday through Friday, cool. Leaves you with 113 hours. You guys have to sleep, I understand, sleep's important, it's vital to me, I'm not telling you to give up sleep. So let's give you eight hours a night, the entire week. That is 56 hours subtracted from our 113, leaving you with 57 hours to get all your stuff done. I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna give you guys some commute time to your job. Let's just say your job sucks. You guys gotta drive at least 45 minutes to get to it every single day. I'm gonna give you 10 and a half hours per week. So an hour and a half every single day on commute time. We're gonna go down to 46 and a half hours left to get whatever you have to get done for the week. I'm gonna take it a step further. I know you guys have kids, errands, dishes, laundry, grocery store, miscellaneous stuff, just life in general, obviously bogs us down. I'm gonna give you three hours every single day, all seven days a week. So we're gonna take 21 hours away from our 46 and a half, leaving you with 25.5 hours left each week to get fitness done. Now I'm gonna break it down in context of a day for you guys really fast. 24 hours in a day, next step. Take away 11 hours for work, because we're hustling, we're grinding, I get it, your career is important. Next step, eight hours is gone for sleep. An hour and a half is gone for commute time every single day, and three hours is gone for miscellaneous kid stuff, errands, whatever you guys have to do and run. It still leaves you with 30 minutes every single day to get fitness done. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Don't tell me you don't have time to be active. It's bullshit. You guys have to understand that you just don't put importance on it. You don't put a value on it. If I told you at 6 a.m. on Monday morning, I'd have $5 million waiting for you, you'd be there. Without a doubt, you'd never miss, you wouldn't skip it. You'd show up at, you probably wouldn't go to sleep. You'd come at 4 a.m. and just wait for it. You'd be there at 5.45. If nothing else, you'd be there at 5.59 waiting to get in the door. My point is you have to start viewing fitness as important. It's not a should, it's a must in your life. No matter how busy you guys are in your career, your job, whatever, you don't forget to brush your teeth before you leave the house. You don't forget to get dressed before you go to work. It doesn't matter how busy, those are musts in your life. You have to start viewing fitness Mobility work, stretching, foam rolling, tissue stuff, eating right as mandatory, something that has to be done every single day. Don't tell me you guys don't have time. You can't squeeze in a minute of jumping jacks two, three times a day. You can't bang out 20 push-ups every single day. What does that take? Maybe 40 seconds? And again, it doesn't seem like a lot in the context of a day. If you guys do 20 push-ups every single day for 30 days, that's 600 push-ups done in a month. The power of compounding is huge. I understand work-life balance and there's ebbs and flows here with you guys, but. You might have to spend 50 hours a week at your job to get stuff done, I get that. You don't have to spend 50 hours a week on fitness. Spending 30 minutes, three to four times a week, for a lot of you guys, is plenty to live a healthy, happy life. So I promise you guys, if you stop watching House of Cards, if you stop spending time on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram every single day, getting every political debate, watching the news two, three hours a day, you can find time for fitness. And I promise you, the small investment you make of 30, 60, 90 minutes a week will pay off tenfold. So again, you guys, don't tell me you don't have time. Don't sell yourself on the bullshit reason why you don't. I promise you, you do.